Hey everyone, Rose here, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to plan your month out and accomplish a successful monthly reset without confusion and anxiety so you can operate at your most optimal level. Let's get into it. The most important step of planning any monthly reset is to reflect on your previous month. In one word, how would you describe it? Was it productive? Not so much. On a scale of one to 10, how hard did you really work towards your dreams? Be honest with yourself and write it down. Now think of three accomplishments of the previous month and write those down too. Take notes of lessons learned and any bad habits that were stopped in the process. Lastly, you'll want to rate the overall month on a scale of 1 to 10 with details so you know exactly the reason for your score. You'll want to be able to reflect on this previous time frame in detail so you know where you might have fallen off and how you can make the next month even better. Brain dumping is not a new technique, but still an effective technique. If you don't know what brain dumping is, Tech Target defines it as a complete transfer of accessible knowledge about a particular subject from your brain to some other storage medium such as paper or your computer's hard drive. This also includes turning your thoughts into reality, which is our main focus in this video. And this practice can be done on a more frequent basis rather than just monthly. If you have a lot on your mind, let it all out by writing it down. This clears your mind of clutter and allows you to feel better because you wrote out your tasks, thoughts, inspirations, etc. instead of choosing to keep it bottled up. I'm sure you don't want to be frustrated, stressed out, and feeling all over the place, right? Nothing is more satisfying than doing a deep clean, whether it's throughout your home or just specific spaces. Dedicate a day to each room or space, such as your bedroom, desk, workspace, living room, kitchen, or bathroom including toilet and tub. And after you clean, be intentional about protecting your space from future clutter. Deep cleaning not only makes you feel better, but your chances of productivity increase due to your ability to think more clearly and accomplish set goals. Clutter doesn't just live physically, it lives digitally as well. So ridding your devices of all garbage files and apps is a great way to become more organized. Start with getting rid of unused apps. You can uninstall apps through the settings section. This is helpful if you're wanting to get rid of multiple apps at once. But if you only have one or two, long press on an app icon. For Android phones, long press and select uninstall. For iPhone, select remove app, then delete app. Consolidate less frequently used apps within folders on your home screen. Then give these folders titles for easy accessibility. I title my folders as category names according to the contents. So for example, if I have a folder containing social media apps, I'll title the folder social media. Or a folder containing utility, utilities apps is titled productivity. By organizing this way, it will help to clean up your home screen and eliminate any confusion when looking for items throughout your device in the future. Pick your recipes, go grocery shopping, and meal prep once a week for one to two weeks ahead of time. Meal prepping is awesome because it frees up your time for you to do other things. You're not stuck in the kitchen for hours on end trying to figure out what you're going to eat and how much of it to make. By front loading these efforts, you can save time but still have a balanced diet because you prepare your meals in advance. And if you're not a meal planner, that's okay. Making multiple batches of proteins, carbs, and starches offers variety, leaving little room for boredom. Meal prepping also saves you money. By structuring your meals, you make less visits to the grocery store, which helps you hold on to your coins, more so than dining out or ordering takeout. Here's a helpful tip. Buying food in bulk is super economical, and purchasing foods that are versatile, like chicken, brown rice, dried beans and fruits, nuts, etc., can help your dollar go a lot further. With meal prepping, you'll be less stressed because time normally spent agonizing over what you're going to eat has already been thought of and handled. And more than likely, whatever has been prepped is much healthier than what you would have eaten had nothing been prepared for you in the first place. So more preparation ahead of time equals less anxiety when it's time to eat. Plan for the new month. In order to get in the right headspace, focus on a particular area, whether it's personal or professional. Write down your goals. Make them time-based and realistic, making sure these goals can be completed by the end of the new month. Next, write out an action plan that details step-by-step -step actions you'll take to meet your ultimate goal. Here's a tip. To make things more digestible, break down your actions on a daily and weekly basis. This provides a more accurate and doable action plan and helps you ease right into a starting point. Budget your finances. Determine how much money you bring home every month. 
your monthly income. From this starting point, you can determine how much you can save and spend each month. Keep in mind your monthly income should include consistent sources of income, like what you make at your job, instead of inconsistent sources of income, like what you made at a recent yard sale or something. Track your spending for at least a month or two to determine where your money is going. Take account for expenses that come up not so often as well, such as property taxes, co-pays for doctor's office visits, vacations, etc. Then prioritize your financial obligations and customize your budget based on those priorities. One popular guideline, according to bankrate.com, is the 50-30-20 rule. The rule states that you should allocate 50% of your income toward needs, 30% toward wants, and 20% for savings. Saving 20% may be a bit much for some, but keep in mind this is just a suggestion. So long as you stay on top of tracking your spending and saving and make it a point to refine your budget as needed, you'll be one step closer to being in control of your life. Schedule and organize your life. Create a weekly schedule. For me, I juggle an entire household, including taking care of my husband, two kids, and my mother. Admittedly, it can be difficult to remember everything that needs to be done, let alone finding time to constantly remind myself to remember things. That's why creating a weekly schedule has been so helpful. Planning things out in advance allows me to knock out the more important tasks I'd otherwise forget, while still allowing me the flexibility to intake and handle those items on my schedule that are not considered day-to-day -day tasks. This is key because no two days are alike in my world. So devoting certain time frames to certain tasks allows me to remain calmer, more focused, and more organized. So just as an example, I dedicate time once a week to picking out my kids' clothes for the week. I meal prep once or twice a week depending on the recipes I'd like to make, and I do my daughter's hair once every couple of weeks to stay on a consistent schedule. And this schedule not only allows me to be more routine, but it also allows others in the household to develop an expectation for these items too. You know, here's a bonus tip to help you get on schedule and continue to remain accountable. Set an alarm on your cell phone for the task you'd like to schedule. Set a specific time of day and recurrence. For example, if you want to work out every day at 5 a.m., schedule this on your phone and set the reoccurrence for every day. If you're feeling froggy, add a notification ahead of time so you're ready for this task. Establish a morning routine. It's a known fact that how you spend your morning influences the rest of your day. And if you don't have a morning routine, what are you doing? If you start your day off rushing or lazy in bed, expect those feelings to follow you throughout your day. However, a solid morning routine gets you going from the moment you wake up and puts you in the right frame of mind to continue making good decisions for the remainder of the day. So, if you want to feel in control, lower stress, and develop healthier habits, establishing a morning routine is most definitely a step in the right direction. Act without thinking. According to Forbes.com, a successful person doesn't waste time dedicating the little amount of energy they have on debating if they should or shouldn't do something. Rather, they condition themselves to developing daily habits that will ensure their success. So the first step to organizing your life is to create an ideal routine which will grant you happiness, peace, and productivity. Eliminate distractions. The constant noise throughout life can deter you from getting a considerable amount of work completed which hinders your productivity and ultimately keeps you from reaching your personal and professional goals. Eliminate these distractions by turning your devices off or place them on do not disturb while working, block off time strictly for focusing on your work, and allow no meetings during this time frame. If you want to take this a step further, download focus and time tracking apps like Pomodoro or Forest. These are just two of hundreds of awesome time management apps to suit your needs. Write out a daily self-care routine for the month. Find what brings you joy. Write down as many things as possible which provide you joy, whether it be your favorite scent, seasons of the year, skincare, beauty, music, etc. And then incorporate these items in your daily life by filling your personal space with these items or dedicating time in your day for this specific activity. It's important to take baby steps when starting out a new routine. Adding one new self-care practice at a time may make the habit a bit easier to get into. Increase your water intake and clean up your diet. There are several benefits to increasing your water intake. The CDC lists these benefits as managing weight, keeping a normal body temperature, lubrication and cushioning of joints, protection of spinal cord, and helping rid your body of wastes through urination, perspiration, and bowel movements. 
On the surface, water can help decrease the appearance of cellulite and wrinkles by maintaining your skin's elasticity. And those who eat a healthy diet tend to live longer and have a lower risk of obesity, heart disease, diabetes, and certain cancers. So pairing an increased water intake with a balanced diet will result in a lifestyle which offers structure thanks to clearer thinking. If you'd like more in-depth info, I've included some very helpful articles as well as links to products mentioned within the description box below. Feel free to check them out once you're done watching this video. And then subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any more videos helping you to lose weight, improve your self-care habits, and more. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.